competent and qualified are two terms that may sound interchangeable, but when it comes to workplace safety, they carry a lot more weight than you might initially expect. The competent and qualified people on site have distinctly different roles, both of which are authorized by the employer. A competent person makes sure systems can be used safely. What kind of systems? Well, depending on their area of expertise, this could be fall protection, scaffolding, excavations, and others. The definition of competent person is one who's capable of identifying existing and predictable hazards in the surroundings or working conditions, which are unsanitary, hazardous, or dangerous to employees and who has the authorization to take prompt, corrective measures to eliminate them. Here's a few examples of how that can play out. A fall protection competent person might identify fall hazards and plan the right fall protection to keep their crew safe. A scaffold competent person will complete the daily inspection of the scaffold an excavation competent person can assess trench cave-in risks effectively. All of this is about identifying hazards in the workplace and taking steps to reduce the risk. While the qualified person designs or installs engineered systems, a qualified person's role is a little different Here's the official definition. Qualified person means one who by possession of a recognized degree, certificate, or professional standing, or who by extensive knowledge, training, and experience has successfully demonstrated the ability to solve or resolve problems relating to the subject matter, the work, or the project. Basically, the qualified person can solve problems on paper before they're implemented in the workplace. They can also resolve problems that need a bit more technical expertise. Examples of this could be a qualified person who designs and oversees the installation of fall protection anchor systems. While a scaffold qualified person may design scaffolding systems above certain heights. And an excavation qualified person may design the protective supporting system to prevent cave-ins in deep excavations. Overall, the qualified person may have more technical expertise, while the competent person has more expertise in recognizing hazards on the work site and taking action to solve those issues quickly. Both are needed to keep the job site running smoothly. It is possible for the competent person to also perform as the qualified person. The individual would just have to meet the criteria in both definitions to do that and be authorized by the employer. By understanding the key differences and similarities between these two, you can be clearer on the site roles and responsibilities as well as who to go to when you need more information. And that's the difference between the competent person and the qualified person on site.